Olympics here on Channel 2 and the networks of NBC. And whether you are a big sports fan or not, it is a huge spectacle nonetheless, bringing together almost 100 nations. Two on your side's Michael Wooten looks at some of the other numbers that make an Olympics one of a kind. With COVID concerns and diplomatic boycotts, this year's Winter Olympics competition comes with controversy, but these games will also make history. Beijing now the first city to host both the summer and winter games. And for the thousands of athletes who will compete, there is a lot on the line. A look now at Beijing 2022 by the numbers. Over 17 days of competition, there are 109 total events happening at a dozen different venues, only one of which is brand new built specifically for these games. In all, nearly 2,900 athletes are expected, 45% of them women. That is the most gender balanced it's ever been, so that percentage has never been higher. 224 of the athletes are on Team USA, coming from 31 different states. At 16 years old, Alyssa Liu is the youngest American Olympian. Meanwhile, at 40, snowboarder Nick Baumgartner is the oldest. This will be his fourth Winter Games. He and all the other snowboarders and skiers will compete on artificial snow, virtually 100% of it man-made. This report from Georgia State University titled Slippery Slopes says the host committee will use 49 million gallons of water and 300 cannons to create 42 million cubic feet of fake snow. Why make the snow? Because Mother Nature doesn't. 37 degrees is the average high temperature for February in the Beijing district hosting alpine skiing. But that's not the full story. Listen, it's not temperature that's the problem in Beijing. It's plenty cold enough at night to make snow. It's all about the moisture. Beijing is like the high desert. There's just not enough moisture to create storms to produce snow. In terms of watching, there will be 2,800 hours of coverage here in the U.S., making this the most broadcast Winter Games ever, and not just on television. A lot of that is going to be streamed. Over 2,100 hours will be streamed. More than a million people in the Beijing area signed up to be volunteers for the Games, and the total budget approaches $4 billion. Sounds like a lot, and it is, but... It's 14 times less than the record-breaking Sochi Games back in 2014. So coming in for Olympics, it's a little bit cheaper. For Beijing, that's great, but this number is bad. Zero, as in no foreign spectators allowed to attend, leaving all the athletes' families to watch from home. So will the Beijing bubble hold and keep COVID out? There are strict rules and daily testing. It's one of the storylines we'll be following over the next couple of weeks. I'm Michael Wooten. Back to you. All right, Michael, thanks. We have also made it a whole lot easier than ever to find our Olympics coverage online. You can just scan right there that QR code in the center of the screen with your smartphone. So you may want to uh, pause it on your DVR if you have one. You can also just text the word Olympics to us anytime at 716-849-2200.